Welcome back. Um, again, I'm going to show you how to use the mast control. So I didn't want to do it without your, without showing you. So anyway, so I go back into the the sample address. I want to add the the mast control for the zip and zip four, but I don't want to do it in here just yet. I'm going to put it right outside, um, and I'll show you why. Because it's it's easier to do the um. Like when it's out here, I'll have this a control outside. I can use the smart tag. It gets a little tricky when it's inside. So let's set the mask. The mask for this one's going to be five number numeric. Pretty cool. The display max mask is going to be five number numeric. Don't need to do an auto post back. Not sure if I need the the. I think I had the Ajax manager on my other pages. I know I have the script manager. No, I don't. I didn't have. I'm, I take that back. I didn't have it on the on um, each page. You'll see. Style sheet manager. I don't need the script manager. I know it's for, it's um, it's inherited. Uh, so far, so good. So my display mask is set. My mask is set. My width is set. Now I can take this, copy it, or excuse me, cut it, and drop it into where this is. Okay. So now I'm going to take and add the text and pretty much copy it from where I had it before don't call, don't pull that end tag and here we go and I'm going to call it R uh, mask mask text uh, zip 4 Actually, this one's only display four, not display five. And just so I'm not over five characters, I'm going to put a max length on it. Oh, I can't do a max length. The max length, I, hopefully the max length is set up by the, the mask. All right, so we're going to kill this. And that one's done. Now, I'm going to go back over to here into this item, edit template, excuse me and do the same instead of zip 4 it's just going to be zip and instead of zip 4 it's just going to be zip okay and instead of the four pound signs it's going to be a fifth one control KD I'll get rid of the white space later I don't see any crazy errors here let's give it a start see what happens now again, you won't see the, the mask stuff unless we're in edit mode. Unless we're in edit mode. So let's close this guy out. It's thinking. Cool. And there we are. Edit. No failures. That's a good sign. So zip is there, zip 4, notice I have the, the mass. Let's see what happens if I try to type in A's. Notice I get this little cool Ajax, Ajaxy thing happening there. Excellent. Can't type in anything here. Kind of strange that it pushed the space in there, but anyway. So let's say it won't let me type in more than five characters. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, 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 six. Nothing's happening. So the max length is set that way. One, two, three, four. Not bad. So I'm not able to do anything with that. This, this, or city. I could probably throw max length around it. Um, state. Uh, not much I can do here. Okay. I noticed something here with ST. I'd rather call this state than ST. Let's go back over to the unique name, header text. I'm going to call that, I hate when it does that, state. And the header text goes with the label, so when I refresh this, state and state, yikes. That is a different font than that. That is strange. Oh, you know what? I bet you it is, um, it's using the, it's using the, uh, the skin from, from this to this. That's, that's interesting. In other words, the font's different, you can see. Okay, uh, I'm going to close this one now. The next one's going to be an update store procedure. I'm going to go through and do the work for the update store procedure and then just show you how I did it. It's exactly the same thing as a select procedure. Obviously, it's an update instead of a select. 
the same sort of methodology. BLL, DAL, domain model. Don't think I need the domain model because I'm not going to return anything. Um, and the store procedure. I'll be back. Thank you.